Welcome Taurus. My name is Renee and welcome to my channel. This reading will be what you can expect for 2023. What is coming next for Taurus in 2023? Okay, and we already have some cards that popped out. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Yes, I feel like, you know, this is going to be a very abundant year for you, Taurus. I feel like, you know, the universe is giving you a gift. What kind of gift is this? But I feel like you're going to be very abundant. You're going to have everything that you need in 2023. The King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like with the King of Wands, I feel like a lot of your passion is going to be totally ignited. This may be someone coming in, um, lighting that fire for you. But I feel like, you know, this could also be your energy, Taurus. This could also be your energy. You're very creative. You're very mm, free-spirited. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. So I feel like, you know what, Taurus, I feel like you're going to be releasing something. You're going to be releasing something that no longer works for you. And you're going to trust yourself when you do this. With the High Priestess, um, she knows the secrets. She knows the mysteries. She knows the knowledge of what's to come. She's trusting her intuition that she's being led on the right path. And she trusts she trusts herself to follow that path. And I feel like that's the that's the qualities that you're taking on, Cancer. I feel like you're working on yourself. And it may be that that you're releasing. You may be releasing your doubts and fears so that you can move into a more better uh, a space of trusting yourself, of trusting your choices, your ideas. Okay, yeah, you have the Three of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. We have the death card and the strength. That's a, these are beautiful cards. These are the Spellcaster Tarot deck. They're beautiful. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords, Taurus. Okay, so you know what? I feel like what you're releasing is something that you really had passion for, um, but you've kind of lost your spark for it. You've lost your ability to care for something that you have helped grow. This could be love. This could be your career. This could be um, you just you releasing something out of your life that brought you a lot of pleasure in the past but you feel like it doesn't work for you anymore you feel like it no longer serves your purpose um, with the seven of pentacles you're just not finding any happiness in this situation anymore because you feel like you've outgrown it you changed you transformed into this new perspective about this situation with 
the death card. You made a total transformation, a total change. This is you making the big changes in your life and moving into a totally new direction. And that's the reason why you have the strength card right after the death card. Because you have the courage, you have the knowledge, you have the wisdom, you have the strength and a different perspective to move in this new direction. And I feel like this new direction may lead you to something better than what you had before. This may be new love. This may be a new passion. Um, but this is definitely you walking into a new passionate beginning of something else. Before I move on from this deck, let's get a little clarity from, from this. What else would you like to say, Spirit, about 2023? The Ten of Cups. Okay. <laughs> now look, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this year is going to be more abundant and more happy than the year before. Definitely. You have two tens. Completion. Actually, you have three tens with the the ten of swords you have completed a cycle in your life and you're growing into your happiness you're growing into your abundance this is actually a really beautiful reading this is you transforming into something totally brand new you changing your life and this huge change is going to bring you more abundance it's going to bring you more happiness Oh, yeah, there we go. You have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. This is what you don't see that's coming for you in 2023. So if you are currently in a relationship, um, I feel that either this love is going to be reignited or you're going to end this and move on to a totally new love in your life. But that's what's coming for you in 2023. Okay, let's get some more clarity on this situation. What's coming for Taurus in 2023? What's coming for Taurus in 2023? Spirit, give me a message. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of hard choices. I feel like you'll be weighing your options of everything that, every choice that you need to make, you're going to make a wise decision. But I feel like you're totally setting your priorities, but you will be making those hard decisions. The Will of Fortune. Definitely. And the, this is the change that I'm talking about. You definitely have transformation and change. This is you leaving your old situation and growing into your new situation. As this will turns, you are flowing into this new situation that's going to be better than what you left. Okay, what else do we have for Taurus? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like you're taking your time to make these choices. You are... You're weighing all the options. You're, you're counting all the numbers. And I feel like you're doing it very patiently. You're taking your time. That way that you... Don't make any unwise decision. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're taking your time making your decisions. And you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like, you know what, you are... You're not worried about 
money flowing out because you know that in order to create more money, you have to spend money. In order to create more abundance, you have to put abundance out there. You have to spend abundance in order to create abundance. I know it, it's kind of hard to understand, um, but if you don't understand that concept, you will. I feel like in order to make something grow, I feel like you're going to invest. You're going to invest into something to create something even better. I feel like you're going to be watching it grow. Okay, and you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this is you making your stand. This is you holding tight. I feel like whatever this is, you're not going to walk away from it. I feel like you're going to see it all the way through. You're definitely going to see it all the way through to the end. And I feel like that's what's going to bring your abundance. That's what's going to bring your happiness. Because you're, instead of giving up, you're following through. You're not letting the obstacles get in your way. You're not letting any doubts. You have the page of swords on the bottom. So I feel like whatever this is, you're very curious about the outcome. And I feel like you're really ready to work very hard in order to make this succeed. And with this page of swords, this could also be because of this situation People recognizing you, people seeing you, people keeping their eyes on you. What is Taurus going to do next? What are they doing? What are they doing that's creating this abundance? What are they doing? Why are they so happy all the time? I feel like these people are going to be asking these questions. Okay, let's get some oracle cards for Taurus. What can Taurus expect? 2023. What can Taurus expect? So, like I said, here you go. Soulmate. Yes. New love is coming in in 2023 for Taurus. And you also have balance. So I feel like whatever is coming in is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. You also have renewal on the bottom. So this is going to be a renewal in your faith, in your hope, in your dreams. Um, you're going to have a renewed perspective about things. It also may be that you'll be experiencing things for the very first time. Maybe you'll go to a destination that you have never been before. Um, maybe you'll experience something that you've never done. Maybe you'll climb a mountain. Maybe you'll um, hike a valley. But I feel like you're going to do something that you have never done before. It's going to be a total renewal. Yes. Anything in your life that no longer serves you, let it go. I apologize for my phone. Whatever don't just serve, uh, serve you any longer, Taurus, let it go. What do you need to release? And you have the Oracle's gift. So yeah, I feel like this is a gift from the universe. I feel like 2023 is going to be a beautiful year for Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, you have a burst of magic. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy for Taurus. Okay, we're going to take an archetype card. Okay, our archetype. What do we have for Taurus for 2023? What do we have for Taurus? We have the fault line. Definitely. Okay. 
So you know what? I feel like any challenges that you face, I feel like you are you're crossing over that bridge. You're crossing over that fault line. It, it's just another hurdle to you. I feel like you, you're going deep within um, to make your changes, Taurus. And I feel like that's exactly what's needed. I feel like you are... You're tearing down the walls. You're overcoming the obstacles. You're bearing the challenges. Definitely. Taurus. New moon in Leo. Shine. You're shining. You are shining, Taurus. And I feel like you are very bright. And we have new moon in Scorpio. Yeah. Spirit is letting you know. You know, go deeper. Look within yourself for the answers. At the bottom you have new moon in Gemini. Think it through. So yeah, make your plans, make your resolutions. Um, whatever this is, Taurus, I feel like it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful year for you. This is going to be full of new discoveries and maybe even new challenges. But I feel like whatever challenge you're going to go through, I feel like you're going to conquer it. You are definitely going to conquer any challenges that you go through. With the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords, you are unstoppable. Plus, you have your soulmate. You have love. All right, Taurus. This is your reading for 2023. Happy New Year. And many blessings to you. Love and light.